What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I got a brand new trip to the thrift for you guys and I'm gonna hit maybe two or three different thrift stores and as usual I'm gonna focus on men's clothing but I'm gonna pay closer attention to the shoes and the electronics because those two categories sell a lot faster for me on eBay and even though my Poshmark sales have still been pretty good this week my eBay sales have been kind of slow so I want to pay some closer attention to eBay and just you know stay on track with my eBay sales. Sales. And also I want to give a quick shout out to everybody that joined my Patreon page. I got a few more new patrons after my last live stream. So I'm going to be uploading a new video on there later today. And that's going to give you guys five tips on how to reduce your death pile slash money piles. And for those of you that aren't familiar, a death pile is basically what a lot of resellers tend to accumulate in a short amount of time. And it's usually the items that they either forget to list or just take a very long time to list so I'm gonna give you guys five really good tips on what's helped me not have to deal with too many death piles so if you guys are interested in those videos I'll put a link to my patreon page in the description below and without further ado let's get into it So when I first walked in, I hit the men's jacket section and I ended up coming across this vintage bomber style jacket and these jackets resell for a ton of profit but only if it's real leather and this one was a faux leather jacket so I had to put that one back and next I came across a Nike polo shirt and I've been selling these dry fit shirts like crazy lately so I was excited to come across this one and it looked to be in really good condition but of course you got to do your due diligence when it comes to these stuff and I ended up realizing that the the worker completely damaged this shirt by putting the tag in the wrong spot so I had to put this one back as well and next I found a YSL sweater vest and this one was super dope I haven't really found a lot of YSL pieces in my Goodwills so this one was a first time find for me but of course I wanted to check and make sure there were no flaws so I checked the tag first made sure it was in a good spot and thankfully it seemed to be all good until I checked the bottom and noticed this huge hole so I had to put this one back as well so at this point I'm getting frustrated but you know you just got to keep moving forward because these things happen and then I saw this Nike hoodie that seemed to be in my size and in my opinion this was dope because I never saw a Nike hoodie with the spell out on the wrist like this so I was really hoping that it would be uh, it would fit me well because I had no intentions of reselling this one by any means but if you guys see one definitely pick it up because they sell until I saw this bleach spot Bruh. so now we are three for three well really it's been 0 for three because I haven't gotten anything good yet but I wanted to check the men's shirt section before I left and I came across this vintage Givenchy shirt and this is rare for me because I never find stuff like YSL and Givenchy in the same day but this shirt was super dope it had the logo running through the entire shirt and like I said I never seen something like this before so I was excited to hopefully sell it until I saw this huge pull on the sleeve Bruh. and this is something that I know I can't fix so I had to put this one back as well but overall I don't think this sh this shirt sells for much profit so this one wasn't as uh, painful as some of those other losses so I just wanted to go ahead and check another spot because I the, the first store was just a waste of time but I'm gonna focus more on shoes and electronics in this store and here I came across a pair of Adidas Boston Boost and Boost usually sells for some decent profit but this particular style doesn't sell for more than 25 bucks and they were asking eight so I put those back then I saw a pair of Brooks running shoes and you guys know I love to sell Brooks running shoes until I saw the price oh damn so clearly this thrift store knows how much Brooks running shoes sell for so I had to put those back and then I saw a pair of North Face running shoes and this is my first time finding this model so I'll put these to the side so I can check the comps on that one and then I saw a pair of New Balance Minimus uh, running shoes and these usually sell for some decent profit but I wasn't sure about this particular style so I'll also have to put these down and check the comps a little later as well next I spotted a pair of Hoka's and these seem to be in really good condition so I was expecting a $30 price tag again but thankfully they were only 14 so I'll definitely be picking these up because these will sell pretty quick during this time of the year 
So before I left the shoe section, I checked the women's side one more time and I found this pair of Reebok CrossFit shoes and these weren't in the best condition but I've sold similar pairs in the past for about 40 to 50 bucks. So once I clean these up, I should be able to make at least 40 bucks for these shoes. So I'll definitely be leaving with these. Just in case you guys were wondering how to remove some pilling from sweaters and shirts, get yourself a fabric shaver. So I told you guys I was focusing more on shoes and electronics and I found an Apple keyboard and this is the mini keyboard and they were asking 10 bucks for this one and after I clean it up I should get at least 40 bucks for this one. So if you guys see these Apple keyboards definitely pick it up. So this was the last stop of the day and one thrift store had five Wii's all stacked up together and I had to check them out and make sure that they were actually working and thankfully they had a TV in the thrift so I just connected them, made sure they worked and four out of five worked so this was a crazy right, call. So we are back in the crib for a full recap and as you guys can see when I first got to the Goodwill that spot was a complete waste of time. I didn't get anything good. I found a lot of decent brands so I'm sure you guys probably would know to be on the lookout for those brands but for the most part everything I found had some flaws so I wasn't able to pick those up to resell them. But I didn't give up there, thankfully. I went to two other thrift stores and I came across some shoes and some decent electronics. So I'll just do a quick run through and show you guys what I picked up and tell you what I think it'll sell for on eBay and for on Poshmark. First up was this Apple keyboard and this one was actually the mini uh, Apple keyboard with the wire and a lot of people prefer using the wire keyboard opposed to the, the Bluetooth ones because you constantly have to change the batteries for those and the wire keyboards in my opinion are just better and as you guys as can see I actually have a wire keyboard as well and these usually sell anywhere between like 35 to 40 bucks and the mini one for me I usually sell that one for about $40 it doesn't sell that fast when you charge 40 but eventually it does sell for that amount of money so I'll just take the gamble I'll price mine at $39.99 and I'm pretty sure it'll sell within at least 30 days. Next up is this pair of Reebok CrossFit shoes and I usually get anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks for Reebok CrossFit sneakers and these were in pretty good condition. I just have to clean them up a little bit to really make sure I get a good amount of profit and the thing with these Reebok CrossFit shoes is that they usually sell uh, really fast around this time of year because of course it's athletic wear and people are looking for more type of stuff like this. So if you guys come across a Reebok CrossFit shoes you might have to clean them up yourself but trust me they will definitely sell in a short amount of time for a decent amount of profit. Next up I got a pair of Hoka's and these are actually called the Mafate Speed 2 models and these usually sells for about uh, 60 to 65 bucks and these are in a size 13 so I might price these a little higher only because usually when I have uh, larger sizes I charge a little more and they usually still sell for a good amount of profit so I'll clean these up first and I'll put them up on eBay and on Poshmark and we'll see where they sell first. And last but not least is four Nintendo Wii's and these are actually all complete with the actual power cords attached to them and they just had them separate in some individual bags and I was able to test all of them in the store because of course most thrift stores have a TV there and one of these actually had a game on the inside so I was able to test them all and I played Mario Kart on all of them for like two or three minutes just to make sure that the game was functioning properly and these all tested out to be working just fine and the good thing with the Wii's is that I've sold maybe six in the past two months and they usually always sell for about 40 to 50 bucks for me. Um, usually I'll get 50 if it's complete and I'll get somewhere in between maybe 30 and 40 if it's just the console by itself. So these were all in good working condition. The only downside is that I do need to clean them up and use some rubbing alcohol and maybe some goo gone to get rid of some of the sticky residue. But like I said, they all work perfectly fine so I'm happy about that. And these are the type of stuff that will definitely sell a lot faster for you guys on eBay, especially during this summer slowdown where a lot of people would probably be starting to gravitate towards games and toys and just other things besides clothing. And I told you guys all the time, when it comes to selling uh, full time, the longer you do it, the more you'll pay attention to some of the trends and some of the highs and lows of the business. And for me, especially during the summertime, uh, clothing sales just tend to slow down. So I focus more on hard goods and shoes. And once the weather starts, to cool down again then I'll focus more on clothing especially menswear like blazers and suits. Alright y'all that's all I have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also I just want to thank all my patrons again for supporting the channel and I'll definitely be uploading some new content on there later today so be on the lookout for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!
Bunch of